Hi, I wanted to show you um, how to request uh, blood tests and x-rays and this kind of thing. Um, this is uh, relatively new to us just at the moment, so um, the system's a little bit clunky. I think it's still under development, but um, no doubt it's working better in some places uh, and worse in others. Anyway, just to give you the gist of it, um, you go into this uh, request from the consultation page. So I've got this up. Um, I've just got a dummy patient at the top here, but the labs don't mind us using this one. Now we go to X for lab test requests. We either hit the key or click on it there. Do you want to make an online test order? Yes. And now you can see we get a new uh, box come up. wait for it to load. Um, MindNet Explorer has got a few security things um, set up on it so uh, it puts up this query box. Some of them won't do. Just hit yes. There we go. Now this is what I've got set to come up as a default. It's the South Lincolnshire GP path. You'll have to set it to whatever you need. Um, but for us this is the, the common one. All of our blood tests go to Stamford and so everything in red on haematology on this side says Stamford afterwards and our biochemistry goes to Peterborough and this side defaults to Peterborough. Um, and basically all I need to do uh, to say do use an ease and a full blood count is tick whichever boxes I want. Okay. I then hit continue with request. Then comes up the area where we can uh, put all of our clinical details down. Um, I can ask for a copy to go to one of the local consultants if that's necessary. Um, it's already got my details there, you might need to choose something else. Now I can add more tests to this if I want to, just remembered I needed something else. Or I can review the tests I've got if I've forgotten what's there. This tells me full blood count um, and use and ease. Uh, if there's any special details associated with that then they put up little reminders there. I want to proceed with the request. Uh, it takes me back to this screen and all I need to do then is accept the request. Again just going through these little annoying security tags. Now you see there was a bit of delay there be before this uh, print page came up. Um, it's quite tempting to hit proceed before that happens, but just give it a second so that this, this page comes up. I'm going to print that request off to give to the patient, and it will print me out a, a sheet with a barcode on. I then hit proceed. And what I'm getting is a second one come up, and that's because there's um, a full blood count and user needs. One's going to Stanford, one's going to Peterborough. Hit the print on that again. That'll print me a second sheet. And I hit proceed. This will then take me back into EMIS. There we go. You'll see this has created a reference on the screen um, telling me exactly what it is that I've ordered and where it's going to.